Welcome to Celebrating Act Two and Gray Matters. What John Gray and I matters. like to do is we like to just get you stuff that we find interesting because we think you'll some of you will find it interesting as well. Well, and helpful. We want to we want everybody to enjoy the second half of their life. And let's face it, the computer and the internet is chock full of great stuff. You just need to know where to go. We're here to help. And I've got something for you which is not the most important thing in the world, but I think you'll find it interesting. And it all has to do with being a grandparent. Um, at some point in your life, you may become a grandparent. And when you do, the question is going to be, what do the kids call you? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be grandma and grandpa? Are you going to be pop, pop and nana? Are you, you know, that's the question. And look at this website. It's part of a grand magazine for grandparents, really. But uh, go to that menu there, Art. There you go. Look at the pull-down menu. They've got ideas for, uh, you know, where did you get your, your, your name? Ideas, common grandpa names and grandma names. But what I got a kick out of, and this is so, this is why this page is so inspiring. Scroll down, Art. This first article, I think it's on the front page, includes... Uh, nicknames for grandparents written in by people. So subscribers have written in and said, well, I call my grandma Ah and my grandma, my grandpa Pa. And look at some of the names here. I can't even read them. They're a little too small for me. Let me read this. All right, Lou. <laughs> I like that. Alvin and Butterbutt. How would you like to be? Now, I assume Butterbutt is grandma, but it, be careful with that one. Scroll down and get just Scroll down and get some more crazy things. Here's down the bottom. Here is Bob Chi and Dad Jew. Uh, oh, that's from the Ukraine, so that makes sense. It's another mm -hmm. language, another uh, culture. But you know, if you want ideas, this is a great place to pick your name. I know when when our first grandchild arrived, we had the other grandparents telling us, "Well, they were already grandparents, and they were uh, Papa and Nana." So we couldn't be Papa and Nana. We had to be Grandma and Grandpa, which is okay with me. What are you, Art? What does your family call you? Uh, well, I'm Grandpa Artie. Um, that's what most of my friends when I was a kid, my sister, my family called me Artie. Yeah. Uh, they called me other things as well, which I won't repeat here. Uh, and well-deserved, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, what, uh, yeah, they call Grandpa and Linda's Bubby. Go to the top of this page, if you would, again, just so everybody can see it. Um, Grandparents Magazine, Living the Age for Life. Kind of a good resource, I think, for uh, uh, seniors anyway. Yeah, so, a, 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 I was fascinated by all of the other uh, topics they had here, uh, health and fitness and things yeah. like that. So, you know, just a, a great magazine. We'll have a link in the... Um, um, uh, uh, the notes, the notes in the description down below yeah. so that all of you can take a look at it and um, uh, enjoy it. Yeah. So um, uh, I was uh, uh, looking around and I was, I was just searching for a whole bunch of stuff and I found this uh, article over here on uh, the somebody's list of 10 best volunteer activities in retirement. And if you take a quick look at it, and I found this fascinating, was... Uh, here's, the, here's the primary of this. You can see all the way from Habitat uh, for Humanity, uh, yep. the SPCA, all the animal uh, cruelty uh, organizations. Yeah, good idea. All these great things. And this is really fascinating. But this yeah. is not what actually, and when you see the description below, you'll see uh, why in a moment. But I'm going to go back up here. And this was part of a group of, of a mag online uh, magazine called How Stuff Works. I spent an hour just look. I was always fascinated about stuff. And here's one, um, I think uh, one of the first ones, I don't see it on this. I guess they must refresh it each time. But there was a one that uh, uh, about QR codes. And I guess we could look for that. But you could take a look at here. How do QR codes work? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I sort of knew. But this was a fascinating article explaining how barcodes and work. QR codes work. And That's I just great. spent about an hour 
going through all this stuff and I now actually have it uh, bookmarked um, uh, as part of my uh, normal bookmarks. And I've been going to it from time to time, just if I want to spend 15, 20 minutes to figure out, you know, watch an interesting article. Yeah, yeah. That, and you know what? I, I love this. That's After all, that's what happens, right? You go on, you're looking right. for one, you go on the internet, you're looking for one particular subject, and you come across 10 other things that are fascinating, and you waste half your day. Right. So we, we've, now, we've now taken that search out of how to waste your day. <laughs> well, hopefully you will find these two recommendations useful and uh, pass them along to your friends. You never know when you're going to need them. And by the way, if you would, if, if you've enjoyed this, if you enjoyed any of the links that we sent to you, uh, please give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. And subscribe yep. to our channel so that uh, we can become rich and famous uh, uh, on the Internet. <laughs> Good. And look for our next Gray Matters. We'll have more helpful hints or maybe not so helpful hints. But we will, but we will publish something. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.